to Tea Time with Dorina. I'm so glad that you're able to uh, join me. <laughs> Yay. All right. So, I'm so excited with what we're going to share um, with you tonight. So, all those that are um, first time viewing or the replay or joining us tonight, uh, this is um, Tuesday Tea Time with Dorina and you grab your beverage or whatever you like and join us. How about that? Okay. Yay. So, so um, tonight, oh my goodness, we're going to talk about being the winner within. The winner within. And so, um, I, um, I'm actually the um, uh, founder and president of Women of Wisdom. And we're all about uh, transforming lives into butterflies, okay? And so we um, have workshops and we're working on a program right now called Caterpillar to Butterflies. And we invite uh, teen girls from 12 years up, from 12 years old all the way up to adulthood. Okay, so that's what we do. And this is Tuesday Tea Time. So uh, we come on every Tuesday at 7 um, to share some wisdom nuggets so that we can grow in wisdom, all right? So I want to make an announcement next Tuesday. Uh, let's see, that's the 29th of September. We are going to have Karen Bowling with us from Nebraska Family Alliance. She is the executive uh, director over, um, well, they, the short term would be NFA, NFA. So she's going to come on with us and we're going to talk about generational legacy transfer. And she's going to explain to to explain to us what that means and we are going to grow in wisdom and we're going to have some fun. I already know it. So I just need to let you know that uh, Facebook will not allow me to have guests on my business page. So this is my business page. So we will be having it on my personal page. So I have to have it on that. So look up Dorina Smith and it'll be public so everybody can join in with us, okay? So every time I have a, gift, a guest, I have to do that. So I have two more guests coming up in October, so wow. So it's tea time. Woo! Today, this tea is hot. I like it hot. <laughs> Today, I am trying out a new tea that a friend gave me is called chocolate mint and um, I like the combination and I have my little half and half in it and I have you know my honey you know I like raw honey so whatever beverage you have grab your beverage and let's fill our cup up with lots of wisdom tonight okay all right okay so like I said we're talking about uh the winner within, and I'm excited to share this with you. So, so what kind of image, what kind of image do we have about ourselves? And what can we see ourselves doing? Now, I got this uh, mirror with me, and um, you can see my image in the mirror. And so we're going to use this on our teaching tonight, okay? And so, if you like to grab a mirror and you could do this exercise um, with me and just add that little spice, you know, to, uh, to the teaching, all right? 
Okay, hold on a minute. I wanna um, I wanna go ahead and share this video. Um, if you like, please share the video. Invite some of your friends to join us and um, like um, like us on uh, our Facebook page and send me some some wows out there let me know that you're with me just type in wow so i know that you're you're with me all right <laughs> okay yeah you know what we want to you know bridge that generational gap so you know as women like i said before who could teach another woman like a woman can like a female another female with another female who can teach us better because we're living it okay so let's share the love and let's get as many people as we can reach so that we can be filled with wisdom and we can live a better life. How about that for tea time? <laughs> All righty. Okay. So let's take this quick test, okay? Okay, image. We're talking about the winner within, and in order for us to be winners from within, we must change the image that we have from within, okay? So an image is the way we think of ourselves, okay? So let's, let's take this little test, okay? It was a windy day. And I wore a dress. And I wore, you know, one of those flare dresses. So, you know, when it's windy outside, you know, your dress is, you know, uh, flaring up with the wind. And so I had to hold my dress down with my hands because it was so windy outside. And the it was so furious, the winds were so furious that the trees were bending over. What did you see out of the story I just shared with you? I just put an image in your thoughts. So, images are very important. And how we see ourselves, oh my goodness, that, that is so important. And you know what? How we find out what kind of image we have concerning ourselves or about ourselves Take a look at the results that we're getting in life. Take a look at the position that we hold in work, in, you know, at work. And uh, how about our appearance and how we dress? Our business. All of those things are a result of our image that we have of ourselves inside. And so, you know what? We are all created to do great things. And it starts with the way we see ourselves. Can you see yourself doing anything great? You know what? <laughs> Before I started Women of Wisdom, you know, I had my own idea of what I thought Women of Wisdom was going to be. And I thought to myself, oh, you know, I could do that. Because, you know, I just thought, uh, you know, it's just going to be like a, a ministry type thing. And, and I, could, I could do that. And then, you know, I had this dream. 
And you know what? We need to dream again. I had this dream and I uh, actually received direction from God. This is just, this is me. This is me, okay? Because most of y'all know I'm a Christian, but I don't push that off on nobody. But that's just how it happened for me. Okay, and so check this out. I had this dream and, you know, I heard, you know, the voice of the Lord say to me that I want this to be a nonprofit organization. And I was like, no, no, not a nonprofit organization. Because, you know, you got to have, you know, you know, a board and, you know, you got to raise your own money and, and all this kind of stuff. And so this was taking me outside of my comfort zone. And so, but... I had to be able to see myself do it. And you know, what he said to me was, he said, I have established you and it's time for you to start Women of Wisdom. Well, that right there was enough uh, to get me rooted and grounded. You know, if, you know, just by him saying he established me. And so that helped me to start seeing you know, what I needed to do and that I can do this because we have to believe that we can do what our desires in our heart is to do. And so, because I had this desire in my heart, oh my goodness, years ago, because, you know, as a teen, you know, I was 17 when I got uh, pregnant and a single mother at 17 and, you know, living the life that I went through, you know, my desire in my heart was to help other teen mothers, you know, or even uh, preteen and teenagers to not, you know, make the same mistakes that I made. And so it was in my heart to be able to do that. And so, but I never um, thought that it would, you know, turn out to be like this. And so I still had that dream in my heart. And that's where it starts with the dream, okay? So we must dream. And you know what? You know, um, just starting out with your appearance makes a difference. It really does. And, you know, since I started doing this and, um, you know, okay, I pastor too with my husband and, uh, you know, I was directed by the spirit. That, okay, Darina, you need to change your, um, the way you dress, you know, and I, you know, I like fashion. I like dressing up anyway, but there are some days where I just, you know, I want to have my jeans on, you know. You know what I'm saying, right? And so, you know, but it was like, okay, if you're going to be out there, you need to dress for success. How many have heard that one, right? Okay, so that it does make a difference when you dress for success. And so you're putting a certain image in your mind and you're telling your mind, okay, I'm dressing this way because I'm believing in myself to be successful. And that's where it starts. It starts in our mind. We have to change the way we think in our mind. And you know what? This thing goes so deep. It's just amazing. Because you know, it goes past the conscious and goes to the subconscious mind. And let me explain something to you about the about how this works with the subconscious conscious mind but okay wait let me not get ahead of myself i want to read something to you that i wrote down okay success or failure in life is the hidden self image we have that the the success or the failures that we have it's our hidden uh self image that we have of ourselves you know to be successful in life and have the winner type image, we have to alter the image 
we have of ourselves, okay? So you can't, you know, what a lot of people do, let's take the mirror, what a lot of people do is they try to change the outside. This is the wrong way. You know, we try to change the outside by, uh, you know, changing our job position, you know, increasing our income. We think that life is going to be better if we do that. Or, you know, maybe we need to just move to a bigger home, a better home or something like that. We, we try to change the outside. But, you know, changing the outside without changing the inside is like me take taking this image and they're trying to change the reflection that is in this mirror to my physical appearance i i can't what Whatever I see is what it is. I can't change the reflection without changing the physical appearance. I have to change the inside first, okay? So that's what we have to work on. We have to work on our inside, how we think. And you know, um, I told you before, now you know if you listen to some of my previous videos <laughs> you know i'm a learner i love to learn and so i was looking up aviation you know flying aircrafts and stuff like that and you know now think of the subconscious mind okay this in parallel to what i'm sharing with you okay Say like you have an aircraft, airplane, and we're going from Omaha to New York. And the pilot puts the airplane on auto plot, uh, automatic pilot, okay? Okay, so, and then there are uh, turbulence or something that knocks the plane off of course. Check this out, because this is amazing. This is so amazing, I love this kind of stuff. What happens is the automatic pilot picks up the uh, deviation from the set goal, okay? So the set goal is New York, okay? And the airplane has in it what is called the, um, the FD, which is called flight director. So you have to set the flight director. The flight director is the brain of the airplane. And so you're setting your goal to New York. Now, even though that plane may get off track, that automatic pilot causes it it communicates to the coordinating mechanism and it thrusts the engine the okay let me say this right the thrust of the engine is altered and the flaps are altered and the plane is brought back on course okay so you have the plane going from omaha to new york there's turbulence and it gets knocked off course and it automatically gets back on course that's our subconscious mind and so we have to change our self-image and it takes time to change it. We have to be repetitive on the things that we're learning and the images, the new images that we need to put before us, our dreams, our goals, and not 
fall back into the thinking that I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, we have to change I can't to I can. So how are we going to change that? We change that by changing our self-image. How do we change our self-image? We change our self-image by taking the old images and replacing them with new images. Okay? So I drew this picture. And, you know, see that? Now, what do you see? There's two things that you can see in this image. You either see two people facing each other or you see a vase in the middle. See that? And images are so powerful that once they are embedded in our subconscious mind, it takes a lot to break those images and replace them with something new. And the reason why a lot of times we fail is because we have a negative image of ourselves that, that, that's just like that automatic plot, uh, pilot when we start trying to change it because we don't stay with the change, we fall back into the old image. Isn't that something? So it, it takes being repetitive to the new image. Okay, so say like, you know, you want to be a speaker. Okay, or say like you want to be a business owner. You know, you know, first thing you're thinking is, wow, I don't know how to do that. How do I do that? Well, we, have, we first have to decide, are we able to do that? Are you, are you able to do that? And once you change that and make your mind up that you are able, then boom, right there, you have created a new image. <laughs> you know that you are able. It's really all about making your mind up and, and uh, changing um, your thoughts in your subconscious mind. Isn't that amazing? And you know what? We have been created to be able to do whatever is in our hearts to do. You just have to dream. You know, I was talking to my husband about this because my husband, uh, when he was growing up, he was a real, um, what they call a, a daydreamer. And a lot of people back in that day, they didn't really realize that a person that daydreams are really artistic. And um, it's really good that you do daydream because you need to put an image before you. See yourself. Okay, let's put it like this. If you want to be a speaker, you got to see yourself speaking before an audience. And you can't think, you know, oh man, I wish I could do that. No, you can do it. It All it does is it, it takes a made up mind that you're going to. And if it's in your heart to do it, then that's your desire. And if you have a desire to do something, you need to step out and do it. And oh my goodness, all the lives that will be changed just because you stepped out and you uh, fulfilling your dream, fulfilling your dream. So when we step out, we're adding to society and we're helping somebody else. You know, you can take any situation. You know, I made a post, oh, I think this past week or the week before, and I was saying, you know, the dark areas of your lives, learn, take the wisdom out of the dark places in your life. And you can use those things to help 
change somebody else's life. I mean, you know, that's really basically what I'm doing, you know. I mean, a teen mother, you know, and now, you know, my heart is to give wisdom to other women, to help them become women of power, women of strength, women of wisdom, with women of destiny, women that are not afraid to step out and do something and make something out of their lives. And you know what? It doesn't really matter how old you are. If you got a dream, you're still alive, you can still move towards fulfilling that dream. That's right. So, the first thing you want to do is ask yourself, am I able to do this? Am I able to do this? And you know what? Your answer should be yes, because you know what? You're able to do anything. You can do anything. Okay? The, you know, you got to actually see yourself doing it. You got to put that image in your uh, your mind and see yourself accomplishing your goal. You got to visualize just like that mirror. Visualize what you see in the mirror. <laughs> visualize you being successful and you will be successful. If you see yourself as a failure, you'll be a failure. Really, it's all about what you, really what you decide. And I was thinking about this when, uh, earlier before I got on. Really, you know what? You know, a lot of times, because I, I know this because I did this myself. A lot of times we talk ourselves out of doing stuff because we don't really want to go through the pressure or we don't want to be ridiculed and we don't want to be ostracized by our families or people that are going to talk about us or they think that our dream is ridiculous and who do you think you are and how you think you going to, you know, accomplish that. You got to be willing to go through the obstacles. You got to be willing to go through the ridicule, the ridicule of, of, of others. And you know what? <laughs> It's okay because you know what? Afterwards, it's the end results. It's the end results. When you stay with it and you become successful, that speak volume all by itself. And so you got to be willing to go through some ridicule, some obstacles, even, you know, are you willing to fail? You know, nothing beats a failure but a trier. And you know what? How many times did the Wright brothers mess up? I mean, you know, when they was creating the plane. You know, you. how many, you know, there are singers that have been told that, you know, you'll never make it. You know, and they're out there now, you know. Probably got more money than the person that told them that they couldn't make it. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to know that you're able and change that self-image of yourself. The winner is within. The winner is within. Every person that have been born on this earth has a winner inside of them. We were all created to be winners, but it but what determines uh, us being a winner is how we see ourselves. Do we see ourselves like that? You know, you know, even um, you know, in Christendom, you have to renew your mind with the Word of God in order for you to believe what the Bible says you are. And this is the same principle. It's all. The same, it all applies. You know, you have to see yourself as a winner. You got to have that bulldog determination. All right? 
Can I turn my dream into a reality? You have to ask yourself, can I turn my dream into reality? A reality. Yes, you can. And you know what? When I started Women of Wisdom, I thought, oh my goodness, you know, I know nothing about starting a nonprofit organization. You know what I did? I got on uh, the computer and I started researching, you know, how to start a nonprofit. Um, you know, my husband, he had already knew uh, something about, you know, creating uh, bylaws. And so, you know, I used his wisdom and I got online and I, I went to some of the other people in my life that have started nonprofits and I would go and I would talk to them and I would gain wisdom from them and I was able to put it together and got my board together and everything. All credit belongs to God. It don't belong to me. But <laughs> that's it is what it is. Um, but, you know, he led me. And so I got all these things together and everything. And you know what? When we applied for our 501c3, we got approved in two weeks. Two weeks. That is unheard of. Okay? And so, you know... There's going to be, you know, and, and you know what, when I first brought the idea out to the table, oh my goodness, it was like all hell broke loose and I was so attacked and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, this is supposed to be a good thing. You know, and I went through a lot of, you know, and at first I was like, I'm not doing this. If it takes all that, I'm not doing it. And that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes we defeat our own selves. Because, you know, all my life I have been talked about and, and uh, mistreated and stuff like that. So my self-esteem was, mm. <laughs> and, uh, and so, but I had to learn to accept that there is a winner inside of me and I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things because it's in me, you know? And, you know, if the dream is in you, it's in you for you to take a hold of it. And bring it into reality. But you got to see yourself doing it. You know what I'm saying? You got to see yourself doing it. And that's how it works. And so you're going to get, you know, family members. You'll get partners in business. You know, they'll think you crazy and have all kind of stuff to say. But you know what? Follow your dream. You are able. How about that for a tea time break? <laughs> mm, that is so good. Okay. So, so let's just kind of recap. Okay. Or let me add this. You know what? It helps to know yourself. It really helps for you to study who you are. Study who you are. And you know what will help you be successful is know where you are and where you're going. Know where you are and where you're going. And you can you can you can figure out how. Okay? If you know what you want to do, you can figure out how. The how is not the issue. You have to see yourself doing it. And you have to decide, I, you know what? I'm able. Because you know what? Even really, if you think about it, the not, the able part, you can you can cross that off the list too because you are able. <laughs> you don't even need to 
have that on your list. You can figure out how to do anything and how to get around anything because the dream is in you. Okay, now let's recap. Okay, visualize what you want to do. If you want to be a speaker, visualize yourself standing for, before people and speak. Oh, okay, hi, Wanda. I'm glad you joined us. <laughs> okay, so we're recapping over what we've already um, discussed. And so... Um, like I said, you can't expect the reflection to be different without changing. I mean, you can't expect, yeah, you can't expect the reflection to change without the physical appearance changing as well. I think I said that backwards, but you know what I mean, okay? We can't expect the reflection in the mirror to, to change and, and our physical appearance change. In other words, we got to change the inside. Change the inside first, and then the outside will change, okay? So that's what we need to work on. We need to work on our, our minds because our minds... Our subconscious mind is where our image is embedded. And if you don't, uh, re if you're not repetitive at replacing the new image, it will fall back into the old image. And you know what? Y'all know I like Dr. Caroline Leaf. And she says that it takes, um, is it 60, I think it's 63 days to change your habit. So it's like 21 days to break down, uh, let's see, to break down the old memory. 21 more days to replace the old memory. And 21 more days for it to become a habit. So 63 days to change a habit. And you know what? Self-image is like a habit. It's bedded in that subconscious mind and it just, unless we uh, effortly change it, you know, we will keep the old failures and and we will never be able to accomplish our dreams. And we'll never be able to become who all we uh, are in the inside. That winner is inside of you. So go within. And be all that you desire to be. And start telling yourself, you know, I'm a speaker. I'm a speaker. I, I, you know what? I'm speaking before people. And I'm going to stand before an audience. And you start seeing it. And you know what? If you need to, draw a picture. Draw a picture of yourself standing in front of people. And put it on your wall. And, and do whatever it takes to change that old image of yourself. And you know what? We can become all that we desire to become nothing is stopping us but us okay so i want to thank you for um for joining us today with uh tea time with dorina uh don't forget that next week we have karen bowling coming uh with from nebraska family alliance we're going to talk about generational uh, legacy transfer. She's going to explain what that means to us. And we're going to uh, fill our cups with lots of wisdom. All right. Okay. Now that will be on Dorina Facebook page because I can't do guests on my business page because Facebook won't allow you to do that. Okay. So, all right, ladies. 
Thank you for joining me. And remember, walk in wisdom. Bye-bye.